HQ. Oh my gosh, what's up you guys? Welcome to Smackdown Here Comes the Pain, first episode, let's get it started. I am so excited man, uh, like literally I don't even know what players am I going to select in season mode. I have to check it out first, let's see what my options are. I think I played season mode before, maybe like one episode, but that was like six months ago. And then I you know, called it you know, a quit. So let's get it started with the new season mode. When starting a new season, you can carry or following pre-existing data, title history, match records, superstar points, superstar attribute points, and stables. Mm, yeah, sure. Okay, so current stables and champions are... Do I want to remove these champions? Um... I think I'm gonna let it stay as they are. So yeah, let's just continue. So that's Raw and SmackDown roster right there. Um, no, I'm not gonna edit anything. I'm just gonna continue because it looks like it's pretty much balanced right now at the very moment. So yeah. All right, face side, heel side. Huh? I remember this. It's pretty cool. This is SmackDown edit, uh, face and heel. I'm just gonna leave it just the way it is because I don't want to get in this mess. Okay, here we go. Player selection. Of course, they would show The Rock as the number one guy. Um, I believe, um, Brock Lesnar is the number one guy in this game with all, you know, the highest attributes. I wouldn't doubt it. Let's check it out. Rodney Mack. I totally forgot about this guy. Scott Steiner. Nah. Sean O'Hare. Wow, no. I would say, you know, like Shawn Michaels is my all time favorite superstar. Uh, I could be picking Shawn, um, but that's on the table at the very moment right now. Let's see. Um, Stone Cold Steve Austin, no. Steven Richards, Tajiri, Test, Triple H, Triple H. Ultimo Dragon. That could be uh, pretty interesting. But then again, uh, I don't know, man. Undertaker, no. Uh, too overrated. You know, I'm one of those guys, like, I don't want to pick guys like Brock Lesnar, Triple H, Undertaker, The Rock. You know, I want to pick something different. Um, although, I mean, I could be picking Shawn Michaels, I'm not sure. Batista. Hmm, Batista could be a good pick. I mean, he's not overpowered in this game. Big Show, Booker T. Brock Lesnar, look at that overall, 91. Remember that, guys, 91. That's his overall. Let's see if anybody's higher than Brock. 73 for Charlie Haas. 86 for Chris Benoit. Hmm, Chris Benoit. I might be picking Chris Benoit. Chris Jericho could be my good pick. I mean, I'm a huge fan of Jericho as well. I mean, he wrestles pretty darn good. Christian, Devon, Eddie Guerrero, Edge, Goldberg. Oh, look at this. Overall, 90. I'm going to say this. Um, I had lots of people posting comments saying, pick Goldberg, pick Goldberg. Then again, he could be like one of those overpowered people or wrestlers in the game. I don't know. We'll see. Uh, Goldust. Wow. 68 <laughs> for the Hurricane and Goldberg. Wow. You guys suck. 75 for John Cena. Kane, look at Kane's face. My gosh. Kevin Nash. 83. GTFO. 
89 for Kurt Angle. Wow. Kurt Angle should deserve like freaking 95 or something. Landstorm 70. Of course, that guy never got a push. Randy Orton. 70. Wow, Randy sucked. Rey Mysterio with 74. Rhino with 74. Um, 75 for Flair. 63. Rico, you suck. 71 for Rikishi? Really? 81 for RVD, Mr. Monday Night, the one that I played with, uh, you know, before. Okay, so that's it. Those are. Huh, I want to pick. I want to pick Sean. Let's take a look at it again. Real quick. What's Undertaker? 85. Um, overalls don't matter to me. I mean, I want to pick something different, you know. Oh, Shawn Michaels, Shawn Michaels, Shawn Michaels. I'm still thinking about Shawn Michaels because, you know, he's my overall, like, all-time favorite superstar of all time. Did I say that, like, freaking five times already? I mean, seriously. Hmm. F it. Shawn Michaels, it is. Yes, I'm sure. There's one question people always ask me. Why do you wrestle? I don't know. You get the babes and stuff, I guess. I ask myself the same question every morning, feeling the pain. But I do it for many reasons. Oh, yeah? The rush of adrenaline, the roar of the crowd, and the glory of the championship. But I know there's more to it. Maybe I'm doing this to find a vag I mean, uh, answer. Maybe when I get to the top square circle, I'll find out something else. Maybe I won't find out anything. But I guess... I'll step into that ring again tonight because I know the view from there is unbelievable. Nice intro. WrestleMania was a huge success, but the dust has not settled yet. That main event was awesome. I think the fans had trouble sleeping last night. Of course, after watching Stacy Keebler strip, then we should apologize ahead of time. You might have trouble sleeping tonight as well. Uh oh! Look at Sean's shirt. All things are possible. I want that shirt, man. I never had that shirt. Hey, HPK. As you probably know, I'm the GM of Raw. Look at Eric's face. What the crap? And as a GM, I have certain duty to provide the best quality show to the fans. Oh yeah? But you're a smart guy, aren't you? So I don't need to explain this to you. Sean's like, GTFO. Don't let the pressure get to you. And welcome to Monday Night Raw. I miss Vince McMahon's voice. Look at Sean's hair. Epic. Alright, so this is April week first. Look at the boots. Looks weird. Alright, so move. You can talk to various superstars backstage. Um, shop zone. You can purchase unlockable items with your SmackDown dollars here. Wow, really? Um, match, start the event. These are my attributes right here. Uh, profile, you you can view the superstar stats and additional superstars to the season roster and the title holders and contenders here. And you can edit the stables here. Okay, so that's overall right here. And uh, I'm sure I don't have any money or I can't, I'm sure I can't do anything else right now. So I'm just going to go ahead and start the event. Alright, so this is the match card. Oh. What's up with the strobing lights? It's blinding me at the very moment. I have a singles matchup with uh, Ric Flair. Let's get it started with the first matchup.
Okay, so here we go. Before this match, I played the uh, first match of the um, the game, or should I say the match card, which was Goldus versus uh, Rodney Mack. So that was like my practice matchup, so I should be good in this match. Hopefully, I'm going to cross my fingers. This is my uh, first matchup of as, you know, the first episode, should I say, against the Evolution member, which is Ric Flair. And uh, I always laugh at, uh, holy crap, look at the camera angles. I love it pretty awesome um, I missed the part or should I say uh, what I don't understand <laughs> why did they make Shawn Michaels look so wide from his upper body like he looks like he's freaking triple H oh no oh <laughs> it actually works in this game <laughs> if you guys know what I'm talking about I had some trouble in my last game or should I say Smackdown shut your mouth um, you guys already know in that game uh, computer decides if you win or lose, so it doesn't. A Earl, really? He's just standing there. He could have got hit, but um, like it doesn't ask you to tap your button as hard as you could. But in this game, it does. So it's a pretty awesome experience, you know. I'm gonna beat the crap out of Ric Flair. I don't care. And I'm stupid enough to go up on uh, top rope and uh, do a diving elbow drop because. That stuff ain't gonna work in this game. This ain't smack don't shut your mouth. I should have known that. The buttons are different in this game a little bit. Um, the reversal button is R2. The grapple reversal button is, I believe, um, I don't know if it's R2 or R1. I'm not sure. It's just, uh, I'm still learning. So hopefully you know by the time when I get to a really good matchup. Oh my gosh! <laughs> I just knocked down Earl Hebner straight up. What the crap was I thinking? Like a drop kick on his freaking head. That was sweet. Like the camera angle was freaking terrific too. Okay. Have to work on uh, Ric Flair. This game is uh, kind of slow paced which I like you know really like about this game it's not like super fast it was just right it was perfect this is why I mean this game was one of the best games ever get up Sean don't be a vagina alright I'm gonna waste some time here maybe maybe not I don't know I wanna do some taunts I don't know if I can do that what is, what is my taunt oh wait there you go Ah, classic taunt. <laughs> I can actually stop the taunts in this game. It's pretty awesome. Ooh, a moonsault. Come on, ref. One. Two. Oh, slow count, Earl. Really? You must have hate me. Go back into the ring. Yep, this game is fun so far. Um, it takes skill to play this game. However, SmackDown Shut Your Mouth was just, uh, you know, it's kind of like an old school SmackDown game. Like, you know, SmackDown 1, SmackDown 2, Just Bring It, and oh my gosh. Is Earl down again? Really? Yeah, all those games fall under, like, a uh, arcade 
type of wrestling games, in my opinion. But in this game, you really have to push yourself to win a freaking matchup. Come on, Earl? What? Oh, not even one. You suck. Uh-oh. Woo! Yeah, take that knee. You mad? Oh, no. Come on, reverse. Reverse. There you go. Oh, oh! Kick! To your freaking face. Uh, I want to go for a cover, but I highly doubt if I'm going to win this match. Ric Flair is yellow, like on his head. So I don't think that's going to work. I have to damage him. Yeah, this is why this game requires skill. Um, you know, in SmackDown, shut your mouth. I swear I'm going to stop, you know, talking about that game as soon as this first episode is over. Um, yeah, and shut your mouth. You guys saw what happened. You know, one finisher and you're done. <laughs> Hollywood Hulk Hogan, one leg drop. And I was done. I lost the Undisputed Championship. In case you guys don't know what I'm talking about, watch the uh, last video I made for SmackDown Shut Your Mouth final episode. I have to take precautions here. I don't want to lose my first matchup. That's embarrassing. Go for a drop kick. Mm, nice. Uh, Ric Flair is almost done. I'm sure he is. Road break. I'm not even trying to submit him. Go up on top rope again. See, in this game, uh, when you're going up on top rope, uh, you can't go, you know, fast like as you could in SmackDown <laughs> Shut Your Mouth. And I swear, I will, t you know, stop talking about that game as soon as this first episode is over. I'm just uh, kind of doing a, you know, comparison between those two games. Oh my gosh, Earl, get out of my way. Is this true, like, Earl Hebner is still in the way in this game? Jeez, he never gets away. Never, ever gets away. All right, that's it. Let's go for a elbow drop. Go for cover. Come on, one, two. Oh, not even two, Earl. Really? Vintage elbow drop. Oh, this is going to suck. Lengthier gameplay videos, huh? That's what you guys wanted. That's what you guys going to get. Takes a while to uh, finish one matchup. I heard uh, this uh, season mode is pretty uh, lengthy, if I'm not mistaken. I don't know. My friend told me that. It's one of the lengthiest uh, wrestling video, or should I say season modes, as far as, you know, like playing the game and, you know, finishing it up. I don't know. Mm. Nice suplex. Let's go for a elbow drop again. Oh, you moved. What was that? A counter? Uh oh, Ric Flair doing the woo! You idiot! What am I doing? Oh, come on, come on, Sean! I wonder how am I gonna get through this freaking game? I'm hoping not. You know, I won't get. Okay, come on, another elbow drop, and he moves again. Jeez! Can't catch a break. Oh, what? What was that? Dude. Counter after counter. This ain't gonna work, son. This game's tough. What? Oh, yes. Another counter. Oh, vintage DDT. Let's go for a cover. Roll break. Rope freaking break? No way. Okay, that's it. Uh, let's finish him up by using a smack down finisher. That's it. Sweet chin music. Here we go. Ah, uh, did that hurt? Okay, that's it. That's it. That's it. Come on, go for a cover. Go for a cover. One, two, three. My first official win. Very first episode. Taunt, attack, respect. Uh, respect. I'm going to play a face role, basically. Huh. Earl Hebner got a haircut. Besides that, I'm showing respect that I deserve.
Uh, Ric Flair. I guess I'm going to do a handshake or something. Right? What if he doesn't shake my hand? Maybe, maybe he will, maybe he won't. Yes, he did. Nice. Good job, mate. Good job. Look where time it is. It's clobbering time and punch him.